what is going on guys, Noon here, welcome back to yet another plugin tutorial. Now in this tutorial we are going to be doing a timer that is in a separate class of the timer can be, you know, it can be called whatever it wants mainly. Um, so it's basically just going to every 30 seconds, well actually no, probably not 30 seconds, but it, like probably every uh, 5 seconds it's going to go ahead and broadcast the amount of players that are online. Um, so yeah, so uh, in our core class, let's create a... Um, you know, void code reg timers, and then we can go ahead and create the private void. So, private void reg timers, and then inside of here, we can do bs dot run task um, timer async asynchronously async asynchronously asynchronously. However, it said anyway. Uh, so we need to do this new um, player timer and then how often we want it to go off so there's no delay and it's going to do it every 100 ticks which is basically 5 seconds now we're going to go ahead and delete this package because that's annoying and yes it's coming out from the bug tutorial but it doesn't matter but, you know it doesn't really matter and then obviously the class is player timer and I'm going to put it in the dot timers uh, class uh, so the first thing you want to do is implement runnable um, so that's that and then public void uh, run and that is basically the layout of it uh, so we can quickly go ahead and import player or the player timer and then that leaves us with, you know with this now we want it to go ahead and do if bucket dot get online players dot length doesn't equal zero so if no one's online it's not going to do anything however if the player count isn't zero, then it's going to go ahead and do this. Which is going to do bucket dot broadcast message chat color dot gold plus there are um actually no we'll do players online. So players online plus chat color dot aqua plus bucket dot get online players dot length. Um, and then that's that, and then plus checker dot gold plus with an exclamation mark. So basically, every five seconds, it's going to go ahead and broadcast that. Um, so that's that. So th th you know, the tutorial is pretty simple to do, and you don't really need to do, do much for it. So this will run every five seconds until obviously the plugin stops. Um, so that's that. So let's go ahead and save this into here, BB, BPT, and let's go ahead and uh, launch the server, and I'll see you guys in game. Get something like this is more efficient than um, just doing the bucket dot get scheduler dot schedule repeating task or whatever it is. Um, so if we go ahead and direct connect to our thing and reload the server. I uh, to totally ignore that. Um, as you can see, it says players online one. And then it will go around, wait for five seconds, and then do it again. And as you can see, it even says it in the console. So if I'm not on the server anymore, you know, we can wait for as much, well, for as long as we want. Yeah, as you can see, it's not actually doing it. But if I was to join the server, the next time it counts to that five, um, as you can see, it says players online one. Um, so yeah, that is that. Um, so. That is how you do that guys, it's pretty simple to do, that's why the tutorial is not that long. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you have, please leave a rating as it really does help me out, and I hope to see you next time. See you guys.